There he is. Get him. Oh shit. Run. Gonna wear two though. Down that way. Yeah. Oh shit. Attack a man. Get down here, quick. Run, man, run. No, not that way. Let me go. Right, so left. No, down. No, right. Yes. Down. Yes. Left. No. See how it went back there because I got it wrong? So is it right? Down. Right. No. Right. Right. Down. Up. Oh. No, right, down, left. No, right, down, down. There we go. Uh oh. Run, Tokai, run! I'm not controlling this, this is just a video sequence. It looks quite cool though. Find a safe place to hide. Run, Forest. Back in my room. Oh, oh, he's locked the door. Good stuff. Ah, oh, here we go. Who did you piss off this time? The whole Ask me friends from the boss. Guards, all looking for you. Carolina, is she safe? As far as I know, yes. They've locked her in her room. But it's you they're after. You Why? Have to hide and wait this out. Go to what the tech area behind my cubby hole. I'll try to find out what the story is. Don't worry about her. They've turned the power off, but I've got my own generator. I didn't have time to change the fuse though. You wouldn't mind doing me a favor, would you? But don't worry. I'll try to restore the main mm, power. Supply. He seems a bit dodgy to me, like. Though. I hope you're not afraid of the dark. There's no monsters there. Hide in the tech area. Holy shit, Stark. It's a complete mess in here. I have to watch my step. Aha, torch. Oh, so is this way it's gonna start getting scarier then, is it? Oh no, I got two-handed hammer, can he? Fuse. That's what I was looking for. I'm liking this game so far, guys. Like I say, it's a great looking game. Excellent graphics. Story seems quite okay so far. The voice acting seems generally alright in the for the main part. Controls are spot on. I loved Dead Space, and like I say, this uh, this this is reminding us a lot of it so far. Destroy stuff, okay. Turn off the power. Like so. I like it. Flies coming out the aircon, that can't be a good sign, can it? Oh nice, look at that. Haha. <laughs> I like it. Well, I think I've already been infected by that plague because it definitely seems like I've gone mad.
This looks great. Whoa, what's that? Shit me. Oh, he's definitely gone mad, like. I think I've lost the plot, guys. I've inhaled too much green smoke. And it's having a detriment on my brain. Oh shit, what's that? Stop doing that, Lewis, man. Whoa. It's all changed, I'm in like an old castle or something. That's awesome. Pretty freaky, like with all this whispering and stuff going on in this uh, Mike Oldfield style tubular bells music in the background and that. It's awesome, the crying's really uh, off putting as well. It's pretty freaky stuff that was. Where am I now? I thought I was hiding some, in some tech area, not a church. Uh oh. Sacrifices are to be made. Oh, let's guess my sacrifice, though, not yours, eh? Only then can a nation begin a new. One of those to be sacrificed has just arrived. How did I Welcome, guess? Mr. Toka. Absolute madman. Whoa, shit. What are these? Are these the enemies? The zombies or something? Again, I'm not controlling this at the moment, even though it looks like it's done in game. Oh, look at that! Huh? Huh? You're not really listening. What? Are you? Damn! Why do I even come here if you're not paying attention? Screw this! I'm sorry. I. Whatever. See you later, Doctor Dozy. We'll finish it tomorrow. What the? So that was all a dream. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So that was all a dream. As you can see, well, as you will notice as well, the more you watch, there's no distortion. So I am awake now. Beforehand, before I woke up for real, obviously every couple of seconds or every minute or so, there was a bit of distortion on the screen. And um, my guess so far is just to basically differentiate the waking world from the dream world. So obviously at first I didn't know I was in the dream world, so I didn't know what the distortion was all about, but now I've woke up and there is none. It's safe to assume the distortion is there to tell you you're asleep, and when there is none, you're awake. But if this is a game about going insane, then it might purposely blur those lines further down the line. We'll see. Let's get out of my room for the second time. Okay, should I be paranoid? I haven't been sleeping well lately. Sometimes I don't sleep at all. And when I finally manage to fall asleep, it happens at the worst possible moment. That in itself wouldn't be such a problem. But my dreams are ridiculous. They're convincing. So convincing that I forget I'm dreaming. When I wake up, images remain vivid. And I'm constantly accompanied by an irritating sense of deja vu. My REM sleep is usually inhabited by restless patients, and now the dead neighbor joined the party. I need to slow down and get some real sleep. Dead neighbor? What the hell is he talking about? Attention, tram number five, connecting the main. So that was quite a um, realistic dream, isn't it? Because I'm awake now when everything's more or less identical. Yeah, Al. I've been looking for you. You. What Still is don't it? know if I can trust you. The Colonel demands your presence in the conference room. Demands? Why not requests? You know the drill. And I thought that today couldn't get any better. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm your friend, remember? I don't seem to have too many of those these days. 
Jeez, I wouldn't mind eating something first. Anyways, thanks. That like, really reminds us of Half-Life 2 mixed with their uh, dead space. Not like he has any choice if it's that important. Bit of a potty mouth there when you made, haven't you? For a, especially for a uh, psychologist. Oh, hey, Arik. Sorry, man, but I'm in quite a hurry right now. And that's a bit annoying. What's going on? You can sometimes well, tell I have to fix on the when something's level. about to happen. But apparently, it's a big deal, so excuse me. Take care, Albert. Right. Because it doesn't you seem too. to be the uh, the best optimized. So when something is about to start happening, um, sometimes you do get caught with a bit of lag, a bit of loading time. So I can give the game away a little bit sometimes. Jesus Christ. This bar has got the shittest atmosphere in the world for any bar ever. I mean, really? Is that what you do when you go to a club? Just sit there on the seat, arms on your legs and not even talking or drinking? Well, yeah, you look a bit more relaxed, mate, you know. Wow, what a shit bar. Well, I don't think I'd ever come back here. Really sounds like you could do with a bit of music. Another note there. I'm not sure how important these notes are. I think it's just to give, fill in a bit more of the uh, backstory of the world, I believe. Quite a few cutscenes to start off with, but it is obviously setting the story up for us. Setting up the world, letting us know what the score is, what we need to do, what's already been going on. I think that's my girlfriend. Oh, there you are. I thought you'd never come. Sorry, uh, I, I had to finish a session, but it didn't go that well. An aggressive patient? This time a sleepy doctor. <laughs> nice job, Doc. Let's not talk about it. <laughs> it's hard to make an impression as a good psychiatrist if you're constantly falling asleep during sessions. I'm just so tired. I don't blame you, mate. And now I've been called into the conference room. The Colonel's probably going to send me on a suicide mission, though I think he would be content just using my head as a dartboard. But seriously, everyone's in one hell of a rush today. Yes, I noticed. Maybe it has something to do with this meeting. Maybe. But I don't really care. How's your day at work? Don't change the subject. It might be something really important. More important than us? You know what I mean, Albert. I don't. I'm sorry. If only agreeing with you didn't mean meeting with this old prick. Don't call him that. It can get you into trouble. Okay. You're right. As usual. That's me being tell what I take off me burden, isn't it? If I want an easy life, I might as well keep her happy. Dr. Tokai, the Colonel ordered me to escort you to the conference room, in case you had different plans. Jesus like Christ, this Colonel's a Did the pills help Private Grotsky? Maybe they would. But at a party, Kornat stole them from my locker, thinking they're candies, and fell into a coma. At least I know they work. Anyway, let's not keep the Colonel waiting. Somebody stole sleeping tablets out of your locker because they thought they were candy. Sorry, was this a four-year-old or another adult? And haven't I just beat you up in, your, in me dreams? Aha! Here cometh the chosen one. 